And so today, today, we're introducing iPhone 4, the fourth generation iPhone. This is really hot. And there are, there are well over 100 new features, and we don't have time to cover all of them today. So I get to cover eight of them with you. What's up guys? It's been exactly eight years since Apple unleashed the iPhone 4 on the world, considered by many to be one of the best designs ever for an iPhone. And in this video, I wanna unbox it for you guys. And yes, I did already do that on my channel long, long ago. And here we go, the Verizon iPhone package. And there you go, the Verizon iPhone. I wanted to relive those memories for its eight year anniversary being June 24th, so a little bit past that, but still, I wanna, I wanna put that on camera for you guys. And uh, tomorrow is the big day for the original iPhone, so I'm really nervous about that. I can't wait to get scammed on camera once again, but I'm pretty sure this one's legitimate. It's like actually very sure. Well, I think so. But uh, anyways, let's take a look at this guy. I actually bought it as a bulk deal with an iPhone 5 in here. So let's actually take a look at this. And uh, you would not believe how big of a market there is for sealed iPhones. There's a lot of collectors out there and here I am buying them and unboxing them on camera. Here it is. And this is a white edition. Ooh, look at that. This one's in pretty rough shape, but it looks very, very OEM. The actual ceiling and stuff looks very clean. Wow. So this was, uh, this was quite the release. Like before this thing even came out, it leaked at a bar in January and Apple announced it in June. So you guys can imagine that, you know, for Apple's iPhone to be out there, the full design, especially on a full redesign was terrible. Uh, it was sold to Gizmodo for $5,000 and then Apple raided that guy's home, took all his computers and stuff. But just the fact that the full design leaked and they were hiding it in an iPhone 3GS case was insane at the time. So. That one leaked, um, by the way, here's an iPhone 5 in one of the best colors ever released for an iPhone slate black. So I might be doing this one too, uh, but this is gonna be in September. All right, so here's this guy. This was actually the last iPhone Apple ever launched in June. After that, they went to October and then stuck to the September schedule. So this is gonna be the last one I'll be doing besides this one, of course. And uh, this is the Verizon version and white. By the way, if you guys didn't know, the white actually took very long to release because they were having issues uh, with the color getting it right. So it went yellow over time. And the Verizon version was insane. I mean, th that was my personal first iPhone I've ever used on an actual carrier because you know they just were stuck with AT&T for the longest time. So it was crazy, new design, new everything. So much was different about this phone. And it, it was such an important phone for me personally. Um, I actually have this one right here. So this is the first iPhone 4 I've ever bought. And at the time I didn't really know, I didn't care. I was getting a good deal on it, but it was clearly stolen from a store. It has these uh, points where they like ripped it off the stand. And I still held on to it all these years later. I just remember the first time picking it up and looking at the display, how sharp it was. You couldn't see the pixels. It was laminated. The design was insane. It was so thin. I mean, this thing was nuts. The advancements, you had the Apple A4 chip, the first one made by Apple, the five megapixel camera, the first selfie camera, the glass back design, the thinnest iPhone at the time. I mean, Apple even advertised as being the thinnest smartphone in the world. It was a monumental leap for Apple. So let's unbox it. I'm guessing that in here, we're gonna see an iOS 4, iPhone 4. Um, it was kind of crazy. The iPhone 4s on Verizon had the weirdest iOS version history. It went from 4.2.5 to 4.2.10, and none of the other iPhones got it. So Apple doesn't do that anymore. They follow a strict release schedule for every iPhone. But here we go. I'm more than positive this is legitimate. It looks good. But we'll be putting my failure on camera if this is not. Okay. All right, I remember being so excited opening this up, actually being able to use it for the first time on my network, so uh, great times. Okay, this is the eight gigabyte version. Oh yeah, this is definitely not open before. Ugh. Okay, very good. Plastic looks to be in fantastic shape. We've got some minor scuffing on it probably from the time 
But wow, look at that timeless classic design. And this was the first iPhone that actually didn't come with the FCC labels. So it was an incredibly clean design on the back. Every phone had just like a barrage of carrier logos and whatnot. And Apple understood the simplicity. I love that. Let's see if uh, it still has any juice after eight years in a cold storage here. And it does not. So that will need to be recharged. Just look at how clean this was. It was such an advancement because this thing was way more durable than the 3GS that preceded it. You couldn't scratch this as easily. The sides were incredibly durable. And um, wow, all right, let's peel this off. Eight years later, that is so clean. Okay, that looks good. And the back one. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this on charge. But it's Wow, this is amazing. Like you can totally see how the iPhone 10 took inspiration from this. Even the iPhone 8, the design of the flash right next to the camera, they're so similar. So clean inside, this would get really gunked up, but beautiful. So inside, pretty standard stuff. Definitely, definitely has not been opened without a doubt. So I'll charge it up, we'll see what it's running. I'll be right back. This is the activation menu. And I don't know what this is. I think it's iOS 5, maybe iOS 4. Look at that. How neat is that? And uh, this is the Verizon one, so it had no SIM card slot. I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to activate this. Oh, oh yeah, it looks like it's been activated already. Cool, I think this is iOS 5, and this one already has the iCloud badge, so that's definitely iOS 5. It's a, a later version of the iPhone 4. A lot of people ask me about that on my 3G video, the 3GS video, why I had iCloud on it. It's just because it was a later version. Apple was still selling them you know, after iOS 5 came out, and they updated the packaging to reflect that. And let's see what the lucky number is. So we are on iOS 5.1.1. Oh, so this is really a later version of the iPhone 4. It's already pretty close. It went up to iOS 7.1.2. And um, yeah, there it is. So we'll do a little demo on that in a second, but I just wanted to talk about the resale prices. So I actually bought this thing for $400. A white iPhone 4 from Verizon is actually quite rare sealed. So it was pretty spendy, but they go up to like $1,000. This guy's smoking crack, two and a half grand for a 4S, are you serious? But uh, yeah, you can get them for around $400, $500. All right, so let's do a little demo real quick just to uh, show you guys what this thing was about. You know, it had a lot of big advancements. Oh, you can't swipe back in the settings. That's annoying. Mostly it was speed. This was Apple's first in-house processor, the Apple A4 chip, one gigahertz, downgraded to 800 megahertz. It was quite advanced and the battery was very good. It was a huge jump from the iPhone 3GS. Cameras got a big jump too. You got a five megapixel on the rear. And uh, this was the first iPhone that actually had autofocus. So you could tap to focus and that was a big deal. Well, look at that warp. It wasn't very stable. Uh, you had HD video, the first one with 720p HD video. It was actually pretty dang good compared to the 3GS. And yeah, tap to focus here. So not so good in low light environments, but uh, yeah, pretty decent, I'd say. Pretty responsive. Take a couple pictures here. Uh, man, that's slow. You had to wait so long to take a picture. Uh, not bad. Options, you had grid HDR. So yeah, that's the old iOS 5 stuff. Double tap, jump in here. This actually reminds me, this is just like the iPhone 10. You have to hold the apps before you can delete them. I didn't really think about that. That's a throwback. This was the first iPhone with a gyroscope. So it was more accurate, you know, with the directions, the map handling. Oh, and of course this was the controversial antenna gate phone. So you had that design where if you held your phone in a certain way, you would lose service. The bars would literally go down. So let's see if this one is affected. I'm just gonna grip it. We're at three bars right now. Oh, there we go. We just dropped the bar. So yeah, holding it in a certain way would actually drop the cell service, which is insane on a phone. So a case was the solution here. Uh, this was also the first phone with a selfie camera. Forgot to mention that. It's the first iPhone anyways. So let's take one of those. Yeah, it looks super cool. I mean, this is the first iPhone with one, not the first phone with one. It's still the first. Oh, by the way, look at that. We just dropped another bar. So I'm holding it just normally. And if I let go, we're going to regain that service. But it just dropped to one bar from three. Oh, there we go. We just regained the service. Yeah, that design flaw certainly was there with this guy. It's awesome to see that Apple learned from that and even modern phones nowadays don't have that. We're at four bars. How funny is that? Oh, and this one doesn't have a SIM slot, but this was the first iPhone that moved to micro SD. And uh, so you can see this was a huge advancement in speed as well. I'm gonna go bring over a 3GS just so you guys can see. Okay, and this is the 3GS. 
So that classic design, and you can see the difference in displays night and day. You're coming from a very milky look here to so sharp, so clear. You tilt the phones a little, you can barely see what's going on on this display. This one is very clear still. The colors are so vibrant. It was a huge upgrade. I mean, like, I'm just shocked, wow. And uh, let's test out that speed. So this has 512 megabytes of RAM. It doubles that of uh, the iPhone 3GS. And talk about speed gains. Nowadays, we can barely notice them from a new iPhone to a new iPhone, but this one, here we go. One, two, three, settings, faster. Camera, one, two, three, faster. And uh, less laggy inside. Uh, spotlight, yeah, keyboard pops up a little bit faster. Let's try the music, one, two. Now, everything just loads so much faster. So you can see why it was such a huge shift from people going from the 3GS to this guy. Faster, sleeker, this is a huge and crazy upgrade. I love this thing. All right guys, so there it is. The iPhone 4 relived on this channel. I had some great memories with this thing and thanks for watching, reliving them with me. Let me know your personal memories. It's always really interesting to go into the comments and you guys like leave a bunch of comments about, oh, this was this phone, my first phone with this, I did this and this, and just leave some comments, your memories with them. Very interesting to read. Yeah, personally, one of the most defining phones for Apple, Apple's history. And the iPhone 10 actually takes a lot of inspiration from this with the glass back. They're very, very similar, believe it or not. And look at that, there is the comparison with the iPhone 10. So, um, pop the case off of this one. But glass backs, very, very simple design, no FCC labels. These things were very, very similar, you know, as much as they are apart, so. Beautiful. It's just kind of crazy they can fit an entire phone and then some in the display of this guy. Later this year with the 10 Plus though, that's gonna be huge. Probably two of these will fit in there. All right, so um, there's that guys. These kind of videos really make me happy. A lot of nostalgia, bring back a lot of memories. So stay tuned tomorrow. Finally gonna be doing the original iPhone. Have a great day guys. Peace.